Today we have Rob from Jenkins Quality Meat, which is a butcher that's been in the Queen Victoria market since 1974, three generations. And he's gonna walk us through how to break down a beautiful leg of lamb. Okay, first of all, we got our lamb. Beautiful cut. Absolutely. What's the age of the lamb when it comes to you? Well, it varies. I mean, usually three, four, sometimes five months. Yeah. For everyone at home, Rob, can you show us how to break down this leg of lamb? Sure. First of all, your knife. An important part of the arsenal? Well, it is. And very important that it's sharp. Now, what you do is, first of all, take off your pelvis bone. So basically, keep the tip of your knife just to the edge of the bone and run it down the edge of the bone. Once you've done that, right, you've marked your pelvis. Go all the way around, and there's your little knuckle. Once you've hit that knuckle... So I notice you're using a bit of force to... Well, it is. I mean, like boning everything else, I suppose, it's mm. basically stuck to the bone. Yeah. So, but very important, you only need a little tip of your knife, make sure it's sharp, and work around that bone. So I grew up on a station, and I had this, you know, old station butcher, gruff beard and all <laughs> that type of stuff, used to smoke like a chimney, but he always said you never cut yourself on a sharp knife. Correct. Yeah. And you do more damage on a blunt knife. Yeah. So we're halfway there with that bone. So basically, once you've marked that around, like I say, you just keep your knife on the edge of that bone and follow it around. You make it look so easy. There you go. Stock? Well, yes, stock, or if you've got a family pet, perfect. Perfect. Now, you can either take your shank off whole or bone it out. We'll just keep the shank whole. So all you do, you've got a little join. Yep. Turn your knife down, cut that bit of gristle, here's your shank. So is it, I notice you're holding your knife different ways depending on which well, way you're cutting. Correct, yeah. correct. For me, I suppose I've been doing it for so long, it comes naturally. How I mean, long have you been doing it for? <laughs> too long. Too long? Uh, <laughs> probably about, well, I'd say close to 25 to 28 years. Yeah. So. Well, I'm sure you can't impart that sort of knowledge straight away, but... No, no. Now, turn your leg towards yourself. Now, there's your bone that you ended with. So you basically start from that bone again. You've got a little line there. That's your seam. Follow your knife. Like I said, keep your knife flush against the bone and only the tip. So once you've exposed that bone, there you go. You know where your bone is. OK. Right? So you just basically follow that bone around. And so that bone that you're referring to, that's the femur? Yes. And you've got a little bit of a knuckle there. Now, it's just about out. How easy was that? That was <laughs> easy for you, but I'm sure for me it would take me about two hours and a lot more meat on the bone. <laughs> now, you got your leg boned out now. So that's, you people roll it. Well, you do, you, you can either butterfly it, open, stuff it, and then roll it back, tie it up. Beautiful for a roast. Yeah. Or you can do what I'm going to do. Now, this is the rump. Uh... Now, that there is your rump of lamb. Now that is fantastic as a roast, but I, I prefer that as a roast. I reckon that's just one of the best roasts for Is there a, any other, is that a also a, a chump? Have I heard Oh yes, that? yes, yeah. yes. That's another word they use, chump. That's beautiful, all it that is. meat. I believe this is important when you're buying lamb, the stamp. Well, exactly. If it hasn't got a stamp there that says lamb, yep. you know you're not getting lamb. Ah, uh, you're getting mutton. Well, mutton's usually just got a stamp on it. Okay. So with lamb, the lamb's got a, basically a full stripe LMB. There you go. You That's know you're going to getting a good product. You're getting Victorian lamb. Now that has got your rump off, this is one of my best butts. Now that there, you just peel it and that just peels straight That's off the skin. That's a great tip for everyone at home. You don't always have to use your knife. No, no. Same with the top side of lamb. Yeah. You just got a little thin membrane where you just mark that and basically have to just pull away from the section of the lamb. So once you've got that off, that's your top side. Now, that there is what I use for my Euros. So you're going to be showing me this a bit later? Sure. Now, you've got the last piece, which is your silver side. Yeah. Now, you've got a muscle that comes off the end. Just touch your knife on the end of it, and that'll just peel straight back. Now, this is very important, too. You've got a little bit of a silver yeah. that comes a across. Silver skin. Oh, yeah. Yes. Place your knife underneath that skin and just slide your knife straight across. And once again, it, is, it does help if you've got a sharp knife. That basically peels. Really sharp knife. So stocks again, so got, suits, yeah, stock or, or your, your pets. Pets. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you've got a little mincer at home, you know. Oh, yeah. You can run that through a few times through the mincer. Now, this also, not bad as a roast. I assume you're not slow roasting them, so you're cooking it to what? Medium oh, rare, rare? Yeah, medium rare. Medium rare. Yeah, I like your lamb medium rare. I mean, I don't mind a slow cooked lamb, but, you know, I want to hurry up and get it onto the table and into my stomach because 
I've got to go back to work early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so I haven't got time Very to. Uh, haven't got a lot of time to cook. And that's a great point. If you don't have hours to cook your lamb shoulder, this is a great thing to do at home. You're paying less for it, and you get to eat it quicker. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Rob. I really enjoyed that demonstration. We turned a $9 cut of meat into, a, what, a $15 cut of meat? It's well worth learning to do something like that. If you're not sure how to do it, go to your local butcher like I have and get them to show you. <laughs> My word. Now we're going to cook it. Now we're going to cook it. <laughs> My <Absolutely>. favourite part. <laughs> Rightio. Now, first of all, we go to the top side, yep. which is the piece that I like using. So there's your top side. Now, first of all, being a, a middle-aged man like myself, I'm going to watch out <laughs> for cholesterol, so... I, buy, I trim up all the uh, excess fat. Not even if you're how old or how young you are. <laughs> it's just, you know, be healthy. Lamb is a great, exactly. heart smart meat. Beautiful. Instead of using olive oil, we'll just render a little bit of this fat down because it's natural flavour. Oh, beautiful. Lamb fats add so much flavour to a dish. Now, I basically cut it into slithers like that. Yeah. I believe when you cut it into smaller pieces, you get a lot more flavour. More spice mix, more flavour. Exactly. I'll just dice up this lamb. What sort of dice are you looking for? One centimetre, well, two centimetre? Well, once again, it's up to the individual. I like, you know, a rustic, chunky sort of a lamb. So basically, yeah. I just cut it into decent sized chunks. So easy. My word. Well, actually, that smells quite nice, that fat burn. Doesn't it? See, lamb fat. Yeah. Add it to something, people are going to say, oh, that's delicious. Okay, now it's seasoned up. So you're just going to cook this off until it's nice and caramelised? Yep. Basically, once it's sort of more or less cooked through, brown, yep. with that nice golden brown around it. So while that's cooking, we'll get started on the rest of it. So, Rob, the lamb is done. Yep. Show me what's next. OK, now we go for the bread. The bread? Yep. A knife for you? Thank you. It's probably the only time that you don't use your trusty butcher's knife. <laughs> well, you know, if, I, if it was me at home, I probably would. <laughs> we'll do it, say, in a few different sandwich styles. So yep. cut your bread into three. Now, I'll just butterfly that. Just split it open. Yep. A little pocket. Exactly. Want me to get this in and spoon that into there? My word. I'll get oh, you to do that. Perfect. Thank you. Yum. So, for people at home that are wondering what's in the Euros mix, we're going to get it up on the My Market Kitchen website. Now, I've tried desperately to get Rob's secret recipe for his spice mix. He wouldn't give it to me, but if you go to Jenkins at Queen Victoria Market, they're going to do you a good deal and they're going to give you some of their famous spice. Why not? Yum. I can't wait to try this. Is that enough? Well, that's plenty. Throw a little bit of rocket on top. Just a nice little salad mix. Yep. Olive oil. I love finishing with olive oil. Is it My needed? Word. Well, actually, we should have put some in the bowl, but maybe just a little drizzle. Drizzle? Yeah, it won't hurt. See, butchers, they aren't just all gruff men, you know? <laughs> drizzle of olive oil here, too much there, you know? <laughs> it's quite dainty. Right, basically, that's it. That's it. Close her over. I can't wait now. to taste this. Thank you. Well, I've been smelling this lamb cook oh, yeah. for about a good 10 minutes. I can't wait. Have a look at that. Beautiful. Mm. That is so good. Magnificent. That spice mix is beautiful, but the standout is definitely the lamb. Make sure you get down to Queen Victoria Market, ask for Rob at Jenkins Butchers, and you're going to get a delicious product. Thanks, Thanks Rob. No, no worries at all. Thank you very much.